Good morning, everybody. Hope your batteries are fully loaded. Yes, we're finally there. So ready to go, full of energy for what looks like a very intense week with a lot of panels, plenary sessions, and so on and so forth. So this initial, this opening ceremony, let me say I'm sharing with the president of the association, Dr. Eulalia Pinero, and also with our vice rector for strategic affairs, uh, Professor Eduardo Ruiz VIII. So we will follow this turn. Yes, I'll begin with a few acknowledgements and a few words. Uh, and then I will give the floor to Lali. And finally, Eduardo will officially open the, the conference. So first thing, I hope uh, you are all feeling all right. Yes, these are tough days. So uh, I hope that everybody, as I said, is in good health and good spirits. Let me say first, yes, on behalf of the organizing committee that it is a real honor, it's a real pleasure for the USTO to host this uh, 15th conference of, of SAS. I think the title, the heading of the conference has proved uh, particularly ad adequate, yes, because not only is the pandemic still around, but we saw some incidents last January, no, around the capital and what looked like a, a kind of takeover there. Yes, yeah, rather unusual in the US, but but of course. So there have been, I guess, a lot of uh, reasons for, for fear. Yes, this uh, last times in, uh, well, not only the US, but in other parts of the world as well. Yes, yeah? so uh, let me also express my gratitude to all the participants who have been very patient, extremely understanding, I've had almost no headache at all because there were very few requests for changes, readjustments, so, so that is greatly appreciated, yes. I think, of course, doing it for the first time online is going to be challenging, but at the same time, we hope it to be also gratifying, yes. Uh, the plenaries are going to be recorded, so they will be available after the conference. It was a bit more difficult to do that because we needed to ask for consent to everybody and that proved a rather tricky you know, task. So we decided that the chairs and the panelists could communicate with each other. And if anybody is particularly interested in a paper, of course, they can use the emails that, that have been provided to contact the person giving the paper and so on and so forth. So as I said, the UD is extremely proud to host the, uh, the conference. I think uh, the USTO has a tradition of being very international and so this is one other occasion no that i think is to be to be uh, celebrated uh, i appreciate of course the kind of of support that that both the executive board of the association but also the people here uh, at the usto no and particularly the institutional uh, communication office have uh, have provided that i i felt yes so supported throughout the whole process that it has been, I wouldn't say a piece of cake, but <laughs> close to it. Yes, very close to it. So uh, so thank you to everybody. Thank you, of course, to Jesus Benito for the support provided also through the, through the association's uh, web uh, page. Uh, so I will, I have a long list of acknowledgements, but Lali will help me with that. So the first thing I think we, we need to, to, to to express our gratitude to the to the plenary speakers yes some of them uh, are contacting us from very remote places sadly enough we would have wanted of course to have them around as usual but they have had to make an effort as well yes to, to get ready for this other format of the Sodom, Bogan, uh, Connie, Jacobs, Jose David, Saldivar, uh, and uh, of course, uh, Ana Manzanas, who is near, no, but, but still, no, all of them have been extremely uh, flexible. They have adapted very well to the new uh, mode of the, of the conference. They have met all, all the, the deadlines. So, so I'm, 
I'm really grateful to, to them. As I said, uh, the executive board of SAS, well, they are not just colleagues, by, but also friends. So they have been very supportive. So my thanks to Lali, of course, Rodrigo, uh, Marimar, and Esther, who is kind of a mother to all of us. Yes, <laughs> as a secretary, takes good care of everything related to the to the uh, association, and of course to to Carmen, the other vocal, who has also worked very intensely on the organization of the conference. Uh, sadly enough, uh, my head of department, Asier Altuna, and the dean of the of the faculty, uh, Javier Arellano, cannot be. It was our intention, no, to have them with with us uh, today, but they have a meeting in Donostia, which is quite important. So uh, Asier will be around for the closing uh, ceremony, and somehow Eduardo is covering up for uh, for Javier Arellano. Well, Eduardo, I, I didn't mention it before, but was a former dean of our faculty. Even, even if he's a lawyer, we adopted him as a, as a dean of our as a dean of our uh, fac faculty, so um, he's he's familiar with with our department and the faculty in general. Uh, I think Lali will be also uh, expressing gratitude for the for the sponsors. No, but they have been very helpful. Yes, the Franklin Institute, the Fulbright uh, Commission. Even if they haven't participated, perhaps this time as much as on previous occasions. They always tended a helping hand when when they were needed. So uh, and of course also to the to the uh, technicians who are helping us right now. Yes, the Sukus company, Yvonne, Anne, and Xavier, who have done I think an excellent job in in organizing all the technical uh, matters. So I think we should be, and I, I'm stopping uh, right now. I think we should be uh, very uh, happy to have about 150 people uh, who have registered for the conference. Nothing like what we had last time in Salamanca because of course they were having all those uh, celebrations. And, and of course, I think that was the highest uh, number in terms of uh, attendees and so on and so forth. But still, I think even the circumstances, we should be very happy. And if we look at the variety in terms of, of what is being offered in the different no there are of course many of the traditional fields but medical humanities no post-human some some fields that are quite new so i think there is reason to be to be happy about what is going to be uh, offered okay so uh usually the, these introductions are closed by saying, on top of your academic activities and whatever, you should take some time to go to San Mames and to visit the Google. <laughs> and well, these places have web pages, so you can <laughs> at least get the sense of what they are all about. We're really sad that you're not that you're not around and you're not having your pinchos in the old part of the town. But still, as I said, uh, I, I hope the, the kind of warmth and the kind of uh, friendship you know, that usually we share in, uh, in other conferences is still somehow perceived, even if it is you now uh, on the screen. So thank you all for being uh, there. And I'll let Lali now have the floor to say a few words as well. Well, I'm, I'm going to be very brief. Dear Aitor, dear um, Eduardo, and my dear participants, good morning, Egunon, buenos dias. Um, thank you very much for being here with us today. I'm really pleased to be able to welcome uh, you to our 15th SAS conference, Fear Narratives and the Role Used in the United States. This is our first online conference, and we are really thrilled to see you all on screen and without masks. <laughs> this is one of the advantages that we are going to have uh, with our online conference. I think this is the only way in which we could hold our biennial conference in order to protect the health of all the participants. And I think, and as you might imagine, this our, uh, was our main priority. These are challenging times for all of us, but I'm also uh, convinced that it is an excellent opportunity to show the resilience of the SAS community. 
I sincerely thank uh, SAS members for all their support and enthusiasm. Your response to our call for papers and call for panels has been crucial and has been outstanding. We have 125 participants and 30 attendees, four plenary speakers and 20 panels which show obviously the uh, great variety of topics and um, orientations of uh, uh, American studies today. These facts confirm that SAS community is vital, active, and what is more important, its members show an outstanding commitment to research in American studies. I'm also convinced that the participants in this conference will show the excellence of their current research as well as their dedication to academic dialogue. We are all really grateful to the local committee. To organize any major event is hard work. We couldn't have been here without the efficiency and dedication of the Deusto team who worked tirelessly from day one to make today a reality. You have made a wonderful job in very difficult circumstances. Let me mention their names because I think they all deserve our public recognition. Aitori Barrola as the head of the committee, Asir Altuna, Garcia de Salazar, Maria Jesus Pando Cantelli, Javier Llorente Mingo, Marian Castellanos from the Institutional Communications Office from Deusto University, we really appreciate your excellent work. I would also like to thank our sponsors, uh, again, University of Deusto and the Faculty of Social and Human Sciences, Fulbright Spain, Universidad de Alcalá, Instituto Franklin and the American Embassy. We all appreciate your commitment and support to SAS. And of course, uh, last but not least, uh, Thank you very much to the SAS board. I'm really proud to belong to this board. We have all, all of us work a lot to make this conference possible. Um, well, finally, I uh, must confess that we are really excited to have you all here to participate in our academic meeting. I hope this conference inspires ideas and discussion around the ways that we can make American studies more insightful and thought provoking. I'm sure participants and attendees and plenary speakers will enlighten our knowledge from unusual, innovative and challenging perspectives. Please stay safe and enjoy the conference. Thank you very much. So Eduardo, your turn. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, good morning everybody and uh, dear Eloalia, dear Aitor, uh, welcome to, and dear participants, welcome to the University of, of Deusto. Eduardo, Eduardo, el sonido. Ah. Yeah, there. Okay, is that okay now? Yeah. Yes, I can right. hear okay. you. Sorry, sorry. Uh, dear Eloalia, dear Aitor, and dear participants, uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the University of, of Deusto. Uh, this is an online and remote welcome, but it wants to be also warm welcome to all the participants to this uh, SAS conference. Uh, mm. Se te apaga el micrófono, Edu. Perdona. I'm, I'm not uh, doing anything. See, there's something <laughs> going on. Okay. Okay, sorry for that. I don't know why it is happening, but uh, okay. Seems to be working now. Okay. So on behalf of the university, welcome to, yeah. to University of Deusto. And uh, we are very happy and proud of hosting the conference. Um, this is one of the fields that uh, it's, it's one core topic of our faculty of uh, social and human sciences. Uh, we have a number of colleagues uh, working on American studies and on different perspectives from cultural perspective and, and, and other kind of, uh, of uh, disciplines around and uh, I'm sure they will participate and it's an important field for the, for the faculty and for the university. 
I would like also to express my gratitude, uh, first to the association, of course, uh, to the Spanish Association for American Studies, and also to the other institutions which uh, collaborate with us in the organization of this conference. Uh, thank you, everybody. And also, I would also like to, to mention explicitly the, the colleagues that have uh, worked uh, to make this uh, possible. In particular, to my dear colleague, Aito Ibarrola, and also the other members of the committee, Maria Jesus Pando and Asier. Se te apaga, Eduardo. Perdona. We cannot ahora. hear you. I'm sorry, ahora, ahora. I don't know why, why this happens. I'm, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> I was mentioning the, the members of the committee. I would like to, to thank them again. So, Aitori Barrola, Asir Altuna, Maria Jesus Pando, Javier Llorente, and Marian Castellanos. Thank you very much for all the efforts. And finally, to, to be to be short, it's true that we are living this period of pandemia. Uh, we are having many difficulties. We are going through very difficult times, but at the same time, we are here and uh, you will have this conference. So technology uh, makes uh, possible for us to keep teaching and to keep doing research. Uh, for us as scholars and academics. And I think it's important to underline this uh, right now. So we, uh, this, to be here and to, to have the possibility to enjoy this conference, I think it's, it's a luxury, it's a privilege. And you will have the opportunity during these three days to swap information, to exchange ideas, to debate, um, well, to reflect uh, and to, to, to listen to different suggestions and proposals and probably um, to come up with, with new projects for the future. Uh, all that intellectual debate, I think is a, is a big luxury. Uh, we are lucky. We are lucky of having this opportunity, even if it's in remote mode, but we are here uh, thanks to the technology, thanks to the networks which already exist. And I think that's a, 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 big, that's a big thing that we have to, to take advantage. We have to, to enjoy. You, you have to enjoy the conference. You have to, to, to make these three days a wonderful experience of uh, an intellectual experience and a wonderful uh, opportunity to, to, to keep working and researching on the different topics around American studies. Uh, on top of that, I think the, the, the particular topic you decided for the conference is, is also very suggesting, stimulating, and uh, because it opens, uh, uh, I think, uh, a door to a big room of possibilities and, and perspectives and, and, and disciplines. And, and it's really uh, interesting to reflect from the perspective of the fear narratives. So I wish you a wonderful conference and uh, the best of the success uh, for, the, for the panelists and for the participants. And uh, I hope you enjoy this conference uh, uh, on American studies at the University of Deusto during three days. And if I, I'm not uh, mistaken, I think I have to say that I do declare this 15 conference of SAS open, formally open. Thank you very much. Thank you, Edu. Thank you, Lali, uh, for all the kind words. Uh, I think I have to tell that the next uh, session will be uh, simultaneous uh, panels, yes, and they begin at 9.30. So there is panel six on Black Lives Matter, another one on fear of illness, technological vulnerable, the third one, and then a miscellaneous one that my colleague Carmen Mendez is going to be sharing. And without further ado, I think uh, we are ready to go just to say again how supportive as Lali said, Marian Castellanos, Javier Llorente, yes, the Deusto team have been. If things get rolling, it is because of them, not because of, of me. I've been just a little piece in the whole machinery. So, so I'm really thankful to them. And uh, for this particular occasion, no? also to Dr. Eulalia Piñero and Eduardo Ruiz Vietez, thank you for being there. I know that you are, you are 
busy people. <laughs> so sometimes it is not not easy to find that gap to know to be with 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 others. So thank you very much for being there. And I think uh, if Eulalia and Eduardo do not correct me, I think that is it for now. We have been really punctual. 9.20 okay. sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So let's hope things go well from now on. Thank you for being there. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.